The year 2025 marks a pivotal moment for the aerospace industry. Organizations across the globe are accelerating their efforts to prepare for what is shaping up to be the most competitive race yet, with SpaceX's Starship program taking center stage. But amid this surge of progress, some may be falling behind. Blue Origin, which began the year with great momentum following New Glenn's debut, now appears to have slowed to a familiar pace. Recently, the company encountered significant issues with its rocket as it prepared for its second mission. So what exactly happened and how might this setback affect Blue Origin's position in the ongoing space race, especially against SpaceX's Starship? Let's find out on today's episode of Great SpaceX. After what could be described as a late but powerful start to the year, many believed 2025 would be a breakout year for Blue Origin's New Glenn program. Its debut flight earlier in the year was a long-awaited milestone that seemed to mark the beginning of a new chapter for the company. Enthusiasts and industry experts alike expected that Blue Origin would soon follow up with a second flight proving its reliability and positioning New Glenn as a serious competitor to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy and the upcoming Starship program. However, more than nine months have now passed since that historic first launch, and the next flight has yet to take place. Originally, Blue Origin planned for New Glenn's second mission to occur around mid-year but the schedule has been delayed repeatedly. According to the most recent updates, the flight is now targeted for a window between now and the 11th of November. Preparing for such a complex mission involves a long list of critical steps from assembling and testing the vehicle to conducting final integration and fueling rehearsals. Blue Origin had reportedly completed several key milestones earlier this year. The upper stage underwent testing in April. The booster was rolled out and equipped with its BE-4 engines in early September and both stages were mated together inside the company's massive Florida factory. A static fire test of the fully integrated rocket was initially planned for mid-October, which would have been one of the final milestones before launch. Unfortunately, that plan was derailed by a new problem. Several reports have surfaced claiming that New Glenn's upper stage sustained damage during transport. Although sources close to the matter described the issue as not significant, any damage to a flight-ready stage is cause for concern. Journal Journalist Eric Berger of Ars Technica also reported that the damage appeared to be minor and should not affect the overall launch schedule. But Blue Origin has yet to make any official statement confirming or denying these claims. From what has been gathered, the incident likely occurred during the movement of the fully assembled rocket, possibly while it was being transported for the upcoming static fire test. Because the two stages were already connected, even a slight vibration or impact during transit could have caused some structural strain or surface deformation, especially if the vehicle was positioned horizontally. It's also possible that the damage resulted from fatigue in the hardware after months of testing or environmental exposure. Interestingly, this is not the first time Blue Origin has faced a similar issue. In August of last year, one of New Glenn's upper stages was reportedly damaged during transport to a storage hangar. The problem stemmed from moving the component in hot and humid conditions and then bringing it to a much cooler environment. The sudden change in temperature caused a thermal shock that led to the part buckling, an incident that one source described as resembling a crushed soda can. Around that same period, another upper stage was reported to have failed during testing, reportedly due to an internal pressure event. While these incidents are unfortunate, discovering such problems during ground preparations is preferable to experience experiencing them during flight or static fire tests. Damage sustained during transport often highlights weaknesses in design, handling, or manufacturing quality. It raises questions about whether Blue Origin's production processes have fully matured to meet the demands required for a heavy lift orbital vehicle like New Glenn. Despite these setbacks, there is a positive note. The upper stage that flew on New Glenn's first mission earlier this year performed flawlessly, achieving all of its primary objectives. The booster, on the other hand, failed to land successfully. This shows that Blue Origin has achieved solid progress with at least one of the rocket's critical systems. As for the impact of this latest issue, the company's schedule appears increasingly tight. Even though internal sources insist that the timeline remains unchanged, the lack of visible progress as the month draws to a close suggests otherwise. Before New Glenn can proceed to its next launch, the damaged stage must first be inspected and repaired, after which the rocket will undergo a series of static fire and verification tests. Following those tests, the vehicle will likely need to be rolled back into the factory for additional checks and final payload integration. Only after all of these steps are complete can the 
rocket returned to the launch pad for the actual mission. Each phase could take several days or even weeks, meaning that a realistic launch window may now extend beyond the original November 9th to the 11th target. Of course, this optimistic schedule assumes that all procedures go smoothly with no additional complications during testing or transportation. So, the big question now is, can New Glenn's second flight still take place before the end of the year? Blue Origin has made significant strides, but the company continues to face operational and logistical challenges that SpaceX has already mastered through years of experience. If Blue Origin can successfully complete its second mission soon, it would mark a major step forward in proving the reliability of New Glenn and its BE-4 engines. However, another delay could risk dampening the momentum the company built earlier in the year, especially as competitors like SpaceX, Rocket Lab, and even newcomers like Stoke Space move forward with their own ambitious test campaign. For now, all eyes remain on Blue Origin's Florida facilities, where engineers continue to prepare the next new Glenn for flight. Whether it launches in November, December, or sometime next year, one thing is clear. This next mission will be a crucial test of Blue Origin's ability to maintain pace in the rapidly evolving space race. And now, I ask you, can New Glenn 2 lift off before the year ends? Let me know your thoughts and your launch date predictions in the comment section down below. Now, let's talk about why this upcoming mission is such a big deal. The second flight of Blue Origin's mighty New Glenn rocket isn't just another step, it's a leap that could define the company's future and reshape its standing in the global launch arena. This time, there's no room for half measures. New Glenn's next mission marks its first real payload delivery, carrying none other than NASA's Mars spacecraft Escapade. For Blue Origin, this is the moment of truth, a test of performance, precision, and trustworthiness under NASA's watchful eye. The outcome will echo far beyond this single launch. A flawless performance could elevate Blue Origin's reputation, securing its place among the world's top launch providers and paving the way for deeper collaboration with NASA, especially within the ambitious Artemis lunar program. What makes this flight even more symbolic is that it involves sending a spacecraft to Mars, a destination that has long been the ultimate goal of human exploration. Competing in this realm indirectly places Blue Origin in the same conversation as SpaceX, whose ambitions to colonize Mars are well known. Even though this mission is not directly crewed or led by Blue Origin, its participation in a Mars-related launch shows that it can still play an important supporting role in humanity's broader push into deep space. Beyond NASA's interests, this flight will also serve as a key step toward New Glenn's certification under the U.S. Space Force's National Security Space Launch Program. Like all major rockets vying for government contracts, New Glenn must undergo a series of successful flights to to demonstrate its readiness for national security missions. These certifications are crucial to competing with SpaceX and ULA in the high-value defense launch market. Beyond government contracts, Blue Origin has a long list of commercial missions ahead, most notably for Amazon's Project Kuiper, which aims to deploy a vast satellite network for global internet coverage. Each successful launch will bring that goal closer and strengthen Blue Origin's commercial foothold. This second mission also carries a critical goal, recovering the booster. While New Glenn's first flight saw the upper stage perform well, the booster failed to land. Achieving recovery this time would mark a breakthrough, proving New Glenn's potential for partial reusability, long a cornerstone of SpaceX's success. In essence, this flight is a defining test. Its outcome will determine whether Blue Origin can rise as a true competitor in the heavy lift market or continue to trail behind in the race for space dominance. Ultimately, this upcoming flight will play a critical role in Blue Origin's ongoing competition with SpaceX and its powerful Starship rocket. Both vehicles are powered by Methalox engines, a modern choice for high-performance reusable launch systems. Yet despite their shared foundation, the gap between the two has never been clearer. Starship has shown far greater consistency and progress, while New Glenn continues to struggle for momentum. This year has been particularly telling. Even after a rough start, SpaceX has successfully launched Starship five times, with the most recent two flights achieving significant breakthroughs. Before New Glenn even completed its maiden mission, SpaceX reached an extraordinary milestone, 
the world's first successful landing of a rocket stage using the Mechazilla arms, an achievement once thought impossible. This feat not only showcased SpaceX's engineering excellence, but also highlighted the widening divide between the two companies in both ambition and execution. Now, SpaceX is preparing to close out the year with an even more ambitious goal, the debut of Starship V3. This upgraded model represents the most optimized and powerful iteration of the vehicle to date. Starship V3 will generate over 9,000 tons of thrust, five times more than that of New Glenn. Its new Raptor 3 engines, each capable of producing 280 tons of thrust, have surpassed Blue Origin's BE-4 engines, which produce 250 tons. This marks a symbolic and technical victory for SpaceX, as the BE-4 had long been Blue Origin's greatest point of pride in engine development. The missions planned for Starship V3 are equally great groundbreaking. SpaceX aims to launch payloads of up to 100 tons into orbit next year, more than double New Glenn's maximum capacity. Even more impressively, Starship V3 is designed for full reusability, with both the booster and upper stage intended to be recovered and reused. If achieved, this would set an entirely new standard in rocketry, one that Blue Origin's partially reusable system will find difficult to match. While New Glenn continues to pursue milestones that Falcon 9 accomplished years ago, SpaceX is already pioneering the next generation of spaceflight technology. The first Starship V3 flight is expected to take place near the end of this year. Assembly work is well underway, with major components being prepared for stacking and testing possibly beginning within the next month. Although challenges remain, such as fine-tuning the vehicle's systems and preparing the new launch infrastructure, SpaceX's steady pace and recent successes suggest that it will finish the year stronger than ever. If SpaceX succeeds, Starship will enter 2026 poised to achieve milestones beyond anything seen before. Each step forward will widen the distance between it and Blue Origin's New Glenn, solidifying SpaceX's dominance in the new space era and leaving its competitors scrambling to catch up. In the case of Blue Origin, however, time is running short. Just as confidence was beginning to build, fresh challenges appeared, this time with New Glenn's upper stage forcing another delay for its pivotal second mission. Now the company faces a critical race against the clock. Diagnose the problem, implement the fix, test, verify, and launch, all without letting another setback stall its momentum. But short-term fixes won't be enough. Blue Origin must also focus on long-term reliability or risk falling behind in the race against SpaceX's Starship, a direct Methalox rival that continues advancing at remarkable speed. While SpaceX pushes boundaries and sets new industry standards, Blue Origin cannot afford another cycle of delays and disappointment. The pressure is on. New Glenn's next steps will determine whether Blue Origin finally proves its capability or repeats the same mistakes of the past. And with that, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.